It's the guts of a Hitachi EB50B two pole circuit breaker, as you can tell from the markings and uh, rated potentials. This thing was intended for the Japanese market, which is not surprising considering that Hitachi is a Japanese company. Made August of 1985. Um, Internally, it's nothing super fancy, just a typical magnetic uh, circuit breaker with built-in ground fault detection. Um, as far as I can tell, the operating elements are purely magnetic, and it's not no thermal, at least as far as I can see. The there's a pair of electromagnets which are the actual um, overcurrent sensing devices. The way these work is that if there's an excess current in either of the two poles, the electromagnet pulls in this metal catch moving this bar which trips the breaker mechanism, which if I can demonstrate it with one hand. If either of these, it trips it and this goes to inter the it's one of these intermediate position type breakers where you need to shut it off before you can turn it back on and that also applies to that side as well then there's this which is the tripping mechanism for the for the ground fault detection from what I can determine on the thing it's since I don't speak Japanese it says a 30 milliampers or 15 milliampers Presumably that is the um, ground fault detection rating in which case which is fairly typical for equipment protection ground fault things. Um, actual life protection devices are typically more like 5 milliampers at least over here. The 15 milliampers don't know what that is but that might just be the standby operating current of the device. Again, don't exactly know because I do not speak Japanese. And if you do, put a translation in the comments. There's that hole, which is for the reset button, which also I also forgot to mention. This solenoid is what actively trips the device in the event of a ground fault trip or a ground fault. The way it works is that this. Um, solenoid pulls in this catch, which yeah, now it's armed in the event of a ground fault. This solenoid is activated by the protection circuit, tripping the device, but also popping up this button, and that means that the device cannot be turned back on, or the breaker cannot be turned back on until this button is pressed clearing the, um, or resetting the, um, trip and, uh, re-engaging the switch mechanism. There's down there, there's the contact set, which is this, which is the moving contact and the fixed contact on the bottom. And in here, the be, yep. This device. Okay. Anyways, there's this device which is intended to quench the arc that forms if this thing trips under a heavy load. The way it works is that the arc bows upward because ordinarily this would be the up direction. The Quitted a little beast, aren't you? There's a cat off camera who's trying to interfere with the video shoot, which he does a lot. Hello. But anyways, um, the arc bows upward, touching these series of metal plates, which are all electrically insulated from each other. And what that does is the um, metal plates absorb heat from the arc thus cooling it to the point where the air is no longer electrically conductive thus quenching it. There's also the same arrangement 
and with that contact set except that's obscured by the um, cell nut. There's this which is the printed circuit board for the ground fault detection circuit. There's, um, the active device is a single inline package yeah. Well, anyways, there's a um, single inline package integrated circuit buried back there, kind of hard to see. And there's that TO92 device in the center of the frame, which is the silicon controlled rectifier for uh, controlling the trip solenoid. That black thingamajig, which is a um, varistor for overcurrent or no surge suppression a couple of capacitors and miscellaneous passives and um, other stuff on the PCB and the last bit for this is the um, this which is the switch for testing the um, ground fault protection circuit which is marked a testo tesuto and then that would presumably device by speak virtually no Japanese so put that and a little series of plastic contacts on the back which actually the contacts there then there's um you know, that which had a neighbor translate this a couple of years ago except it was very inexact but it says stuff like plea from time to time please test this device or whatever as opposed to our things which just say test monthly or whatever is that don't know exactly what that says shite masuno de or stuff she forget ide kudasai that japanese industrial standard 32001 there's part numbers and blah blah blah. And just an example of something like the circuit that's in the breaker. This is something from the data sheet of a Texas Instruments LM1851, which is a ground fault interrupter uh, control chip. Uh, the device in the breaker did not have a recognizable part number on it, it just had a I think one number that said 40 and a number that said 85 it, it, no recognizable part number otherwise I'd be using that data sheet but appears fairly similar to what was in the breaker except this has except the this in this particular uh, example circuit has two current transformers because this also has the ability to detect if the neutral and ground have become shorted in the circuit protected by the breaker whereas the actual brick was the um, breaker as you can tell by the markings is suitable for either a two wire a single phase 100 volt supply although I tested it will work on 120 volts a single wire or two wire 200 volt supply with a two hots in a single phase center tap system or three wire 100 volt 200 volt supply so because it could be in a situation where both of the protected conductors that it's uh, detecting any uh, ground fault currents in are hots it does not need that so there's only the single current transformer and there's other miscellaneous stuff that's recognized like the trigger tra like the trigger SCR for the um, breaker element although this I did not see a great bridge in the um, IC so I'd imagine that rectification and whatnot is being performed inside the, the thing to minimize the number of external components required there's just some idea of what it would look like and see it's and if we go to something like an RV4141 that's fairly similar circuit
Although this one is probably something more along the lines of what's in the device because uh, don't see the grass bridge and whatnot. Though again, it might be that that's all the stuff that's built into the chip, but this is probably something like what is going to be or what the circuit is going to look like.